Welcome to the Nearly Coherent Podcast. I am Ed, and joining me tonight, a man I usually would make some weird pass at, but is making out with a water bottle right in front of me, thinking I'm not going to be a jealous little whore, <sighs> is my buddy and man slut, Jeff. Jeff, how are you, you dirty bitch? I'm good. I accomplished what I wanted to, trying to up the level of sexual tension on <laughs> this podcast. Uh, how you doing? Well, let me tell you, sexual tension achieved. Yes. I'm doing all right. Another week in paradise. I went to the pharmacy today, and that was weird. I had the pharmacy overnight my prescriptions to me. They did it for free. Yeah, I needed to uh, get the hell out of my house for a little bit. It's like going to the bank now, so it's all the plexiglass, and then there's a table in front of it to keep you far enough away. But then they kind of have to like throw your prescriptions at you a little bit, which I found hysterical. I love that. I love that people are putting up the plexiglass, using anything like makeshift to create some sort of space, some sort of opening. Like the 7-Eleven by my house has just this plexiglass just tied to the ceiling. It's like hanging like halfway down. It looks like a some sort of golden corral out of business sale. It's just r ridiculous. They don't even have the common courtesy just have unlimited prime rib at you either. That's the real downer. They do give you like a dollar a taquito if you get three or more or something like that. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, it's a little gross. I'll take that and the diarrhea that comes with it. Yes. Oh, I think it's three taquitos for three thirty-three. There's some play on numbers there. I don't like it when they do that. That annoys me. The Naked Gun series already beat you to it two decades ago. Calm down. Yes. Old news. All right, listen, I don't want to cut this short, but we're going to cut to the theme music now so I can stand up for a minute so that my watch stops yelling at me. Speaking of your watch, have you heard of, it's called like wearable device technologies, I believe is the company and the actual device that I think would impact you is the Mudra band, M-U-D-R-A. Well, let me stop you and say, first, you came on this podcast making out with a water bottle and then you don't even have the common courtesy to congratulate me on hitting my 12 hours of standing. What is this, Jeff? Who are you? This quarantine has torn us apart. I'm sorry. Some news came out in the past week that is not coronavirus, and I was just elated to talk about it. So I apologize for getting ahead of myself. Congrats, though. Congrats, though, to you. Thank you. Nicely done. Nicely done. So you got 12 hours. I did. I, st I stood up for at least one minute of 12 hours today and then napped the rest of the time. It was magical. I'm proud of you. You did great. Thank you. So what were you saying? This Mudra band? Yeah, so I've been out for a, a couple of years with different applications, but I think they're looking to put this technology into a band for the Apple Watch, and it's gesture-based control. So you put the watch, I'm a lefty, so I wear mine on my right wrist, I'm sure you wear yours on your left. Right, because I'm a normal person. Yes, no, that's okay, that's all right, I'm gonna get through it. So there's various controls you can do with your finger, like if you pinch your index and thumb together, it'll be one control, you know, moving your middle finger, and it actually senses the nerve signal that comes through your wrist. So if you're getting a phone call and you touch the tips of your index and thumb together, it answers the call, and then do it again and it ends it, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to accidentally hang up on people left and right. If I start doing that, but quick question, do you mean you're going to accidentally start hanging up with people or big air quotes accidentally? Yeah, no air quotes. I should have said quote unquote hanging up, right? Right. Actually, you should have said quote unquote accidentally. Yes. That makes even more sense. Accidentally, quote unquote. There it is. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds cool. I saw it as an Instagram ad. It's weird. Like I was just thinking about my Apple watch. I didn't even say it out loud and I'm getting ads targeted to it, which is nuts. My friends, like a few months ago, were talking about home workouts, and I've been getting ads for those fucking rubber bands that you put at the top of your door. I've been getting those for like six weeks. I'm like, Instagram, if you're following me that much, you should know I'm not really interested in working out. But 
I digress. Their target advertising on you is not great. No, they're missing the mark with that one. But I thought it was cool. I didn't know if I would assume Apple's going to have some sort of gesture control, right? They already do have a little bit. I just don't think it's great. I don't necessarily think that they're going to really focus on that with the watch until they have something like the Apple glasses or whatever the hell AR thing they're going to do. Then they'll probably look more at Harry Potter-esque hand motions. Yeah, okay. Although Harry Potter uses more of a wand, I suppose this would be the magicians on sci-fi, but whatever, you know what I'm saying. Well, my tip for Apple, if they're listening... And they're not. Or Instagram, if you want to tell Apple, if you want to let somebody know, wouldn't it be good if they put it in the watch and start, you know, ironing it out there so that when the glass comes out, you know, hint, hint, I don't want to have to tap the phone to my fucking nose when I can't use both hands on my watch. That's what, you know, feel me? Mm, I do. So, can I make a really bad joke? Are you asking if it's possible? I mean, I would think it's possible. It is possible. I have one lined up, but it's so bad that I'm afraid you might stop being friends with me. Hey, listen, I think we'll be okay. Go for it. Do you know what you call when they take, like, a box of those mudra bands and they just pour it onto the floor and it's all just sitting there? That's a puddle of mudra. Wow. That, yep. That was tough. I was, I was thinking mudslide or... Or mud pile or something, and then... No, that, that would make way more sense. I was just going for the running puddle of mud joke. Yeah, no, it's great. Brings me back to a video that I saw this week of... And I highly advise our listeners to go and listen to Puddle of Mud covering Nirvana. It is exactly what you would think it is. So, you heard it here, folks. If you love Nirvana and hate your ears, Puddle of Mud covering Nirvana, Wes Scantlin is the worst person on the planet. Could you not drive our listeners to suicide, please? Come on. Maybe they'll be entertained. Honestly, they're gluttons for punishment if they've gotten to episode 148. Yeah, that's true. This isn't going to push them over the edge. No. Six episodes with Dave would have done it if they were going to go. I'd like to make a correction to my statement about Wes Scantlin. Kim Jong-un is in bad shape, but not dead. So Scantlin is still only the number one contender for the world heavyweight dickbag belt. I'm not sure if KJ un is circling the drain or not. If he is, by the time this comes out and he, you know, he kicks it, well, then I would also congratulate Wes. But for now, still in that number two spot, buddy. But you'll get there. We believe in you. Yeah, we, we think you can do it. So, interesting note and interesting post about our episode last week. I think our timing, well, our timing was normal. The, the universe's timing was a little bit off. Yeah, so if you listened to last week, you may have picked up on the fact that we were, in the way of content, a little light. And then, the very next day... Our dear friends at Apple were like, you know what? It's Wednesday. These assholes record on Tuesday. Let's drop a whole bunch of shit. Let's give them stuff that they can't talk about. Such a betrayal. New iPhone SE. I know several people who are very excited about that. Basically, it's an iPhone 11 in the body of an iPhone 8. So it is the smaller form factor. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's 4.7. What's the 10S? A 5.5? Yes. So smaller even than the 10s, which is not if you're looking for a smaller phone. So my daughter is turning eight and there's no chance in hell she's getting her own phone. No. But she does use an old iPhone, maybe seven or something like that. That's got Wi-Fi. She's going to catch wind of this. And I believe it comes in multiple colors or no. Yes. It's white, black and red, white, black and red. So she's going to know she's going to see that red one. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Daddy, look, it's perfect. I'm like, yeah, no, I know it is. It is perfect for you in, in a couple of years. You said it's the eight-year-old, not the baby, right? Because the baby doesn't deserve anything. She doesn't, especially because she keeps throwing her iPad and throwing my phone and my wife's phone. It's crazy. I've, I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. Your baby is a piece of shit. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know why she's doing this. Garbage-ass baby. Monster. So yeah, back to the iPhone. Yes, it is a 4.7-inch display. True tone, same as the iPhone 11. The camera is the 12-megapixel wide that I believe is on the regular iPhone 11, if I'm not mistaken, but also still does portrait mode because of the A13 processor. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot. What was the value model 
iPhone was the SE originally, right? Yes. Or the C. Well, okay. So first it started with the 5C. Then you had the SE as the value proposition model. I actually really liked the 5C. I thought the 5C was awesome and had great colors. And if it wasn't for the fact that I forget what was missing between the 5S and the 5C, uh, I would have gotten a 5C. Because that blue was all right. But this one is... Without, the first one was the uh, one that was in the body of the iPhone 5S, and it was the iPhone 7 internals, Okay, I think. So it is. So this is the new SE, which is weird. I don't typically go back and rename. It exists outside of the regular continuum, because as of right now, they're, they've updated it once, and it looks like it's going to be every four years. But they update, basically it becomes the last version of whatever the previous generation phone was. So it still has Touch ID, still has a home button. All that's probably going to be gone after the fall on anything else. So they want to push all that into the body of what the last group of people that probably still have a 6S are going to be able to get and feel comfortable with. Right. Any idea what the price is going to be about? Yeah, it's 400 bucks. And how much memory? That starts at 64 gigs. So 400 for 64 gigs. Is there like a 128 or does it jump like the other ones from 64 to like 7 billion? 399 for 64 gigs, 449 for 128 or 549 for 256. Okay. Yeah, which isn't unreasonable. It's really not. And I'm just thinking if you have the like the larger clouds, iCloud storage, Mm -hmm. I mean, is it really even necessary to go bigger than the 64? You know what? I get that they want to have as cheap a model as possible, but they should have dropped the 128 to 399. They need to just stop being so stingy with that shit. So in the interest of full disclosure, we were just talking about the iPhone SE. I said something, and then all of a sudden, the software that we used to record this said, your internet connection died to me, which is a lie. A dirty, dirty lie. Uh, my <laughs> router is sitting... He's so insulted. I, I'm, I'm furious right now. The red that Jeff sees on my face is not from my lights. This is just how angry I am. My router yes. is 18 feet down, but I have a satellite because I've got a mesh network. My satellite is literally a foot away from my computer. My ass, my network disconnected. Yeah, his ass. My sweet, beautiful, non-existent ass. My Wi-Fi disconnected, you pieces of shit. Now, I should probably go back and say, I don't know where we actually ended. I don't know what part of this it didn't like. So we're just going to say the iPhone SE is available by Friday. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Hey, I got a question for you about iPhones. Yeah, go ahead. We did. We talked about the 12 a little bit. We did. So there's been some leaks. I actually saw news today, like confirming old leaks. Mm-hmm. Or I should say updating old leaks. But before I talk about the 12... One of the other things that was mentioned in the video that I was watching, it said about the 8 being replaced with the 9. That was what was going to be the SE. People were presuming the SE was going to be referred to as the iPhone 9, which never really made sense to me. Okay. You wouldn't release a new phone that is now two numbers behind on a phone that is only refreshed every four years. Okay. So the 9 is just getting the shaft. We're never going to see a 9. No. The 8's going away. Yes. Yes. The SE is replacing the 8. Mm-hmm. Then we'll have the 12 and the 12 Pro right. as well coming out. And I think there'll be bigger models of both this time, possibly. It's one of the rumors. Yeah. I'm not super keen on the idea of the phones getting even bigger. And I say this as somebody who literally carries around a 12.9-inch iPad everywhere he goes. Right. I want my phone to be easily pocketable. I don't find the... Pro Max. God, first of all, that name is so stupid. Uh, They need to end it. Yeah, it's a stupid, it's a very stupid name. Just call it the Pro and just be like, oh, do you want the little one or the big one? And then assholes can be like, I want the big one. You know, I want to know what it's like having six inches in my pants. (laughs) Ho, ho, ho. Which is another reason I can't do it. I can't possibly fathom that sort of a thing. Too much to handle. But didn't you used to have a plus? I did. But the plus was five point something. Five nine. I think so, yeah. The viewable screen area on the 11 Pro is the same as, as far as I recall. Yeah, it's about, it's almost identical to the Plus. Right. Yes, that I remember. 
And that was that was my favorite thing. That's why I upgraded to the 10 and then the 10s was I had a, a plus and a regular a work phone and a and a personal phone. And the plus was I loved the bigger screen on the plus and hated how big the damn phone was. Yeah. So when the 10 came out, it was perfect for me. This, I think, is for me, this is probably an ideal size. Yes, I agree. The one thing, I'm a big case guy because I am very, don't want to break my phone. Right. Understandable. I just wish they didn't break so freaking easily so that I didn't have to carry a case. Yes, I don't disagree with you. And I, earlier today, I took my phone out of the case just to you know, clean out some dust from pocket lint or whatever. And I was holding my phone without the case and I forgot how small that phone feels when it's not in a case. But one of the leaks that was reiterated is that we'll finally get the iPhone Pro color that we have been waiting for. That's what I wanted to tell you. Oh. That was the thing that I saw. Hang on. I'll just pretend I... Tell me more, Jeff. How about this? We're even now for me not congratulating you. Fair. Right? I rain on your parade. You steal my thunder. Everything works out. Then we'll socially distance Big Spoon later. Perfect. I love it. So it gives us your first episode. We've been waiting for a midnight blue iPhone. And then last year when they brought out the midnight green, it was the biggest case of midnight blue balls anyone's ever seen. It was ridiculous. They even called it midnight. Yeah. What a smack in the face. It was like taking a sledgehammer straight to the jimmies. It was the worst. Yes. But this time, we'll be getting a midnight blue, a navy blue, or whatever they want to call it. Yeah, I don't give a shit what they call it. They could call it Jeff said asshole blue. I'm still buying it. 100,000%. Just, just take my money. Take it. But my concern is the case. I'm not going to want to put it in a case. I'm going to go clear all the way. But my problem with the clear case is that it always felt kind of weird. So there's a brand called Sahara case. I had a clear Sahara case. I like showing off my gold phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's not special. I just like it. My mom likes to make fun of me that I have a gold phone, which I don't get. Again, your mom has great abs, but no sense of humor. It's fine. Right. No, but uh, yeah, she makes fun of the gold phone and I'm like, yeah, no, that's fine. Cause I'm going to be playing on my gold phone when the doctors want me to sign your DNR. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I had the joke in my head. I was like, he's not going to go there. And then you went there. I'm getting very heated up about the fact that she doesn't like my gold phone, my own mother. So I had a Sahara case made it clear and it stayed clear. It didn't become that like funky Amber color that they get, which they do. I didn't have that problem with the Apple clear case which i spent way too much money on because i'm an asshole but it just felt kind of cheap which i don't want for a 40 dollar case no definitely not this was a 17 dollar case and it had a couple of uh almost like little notches cut out of it to almost make ridges and the grip was great it's overall good case i'd probably go back for that when i get the midnight blue yeah but one thing you didn't mention that i'm sure you saw but maybe you didn't uh, recall last week we were talking about the pro the ipad pro yes you had made a comment about one of its form factors that you wanted to see carried over to the 12 yeah i want to see that nice metal band i don't know for sure if it's going to be like a metal band around the outside there but it is going to have that same squared off feel like the old iPhones did. Yeah. That's actually, we were talking about the 5 had it also. Mm. That square feel instead of this weird, like, this rounded... Like stone sort of deal. Like they took a Palm Pre and stretched it out a bit. Which, don't yeah. get me wrong, I loved the Palm Pre. And iOS is basically jacked 90% of WebOS, so I'm fine with it. But I don't like these kind of, like, rounded, smooth things. I, I want something that, like, I can actually tell that I'm holding. Yeah. The iPhone 4... And the iPhone 5 were my ideal shape for an iPhone. And that's what apparently is coming back. Yeah, well, it looks, I think on the, I don't know if it's coming back on the 12 also, but it is coming back on the 12 Pro according to what, what we've seen. Right. And so. let's be, let's just all lay it out on the table here. I'm not going to give a shit what comes to the 12 because I'm getting the 12 Pro. Right. Yeah. No, that was meant more for the other folks out there that might be interested in a regular 12. Which, oh, okay. Which also, the camera setup will be different. It's one less camera, but they'll both have the LiDAR. I don't buy that. I would buy that they are going to do 
three cameras and then three cameras and LiDAR in the Pro before I buy the idea that they're going to do two cameras in LiDAR. Okay. Only because it, it LiDAR doesn't really make sense at the moment unless if they're going to start doing some other crazy shit with the glasses that have supposedly been coming out for five years now. See, that's what I was wondering, is if their next thing is going to be some sort of augmented reality, virtual reality, whatever they're looking to do, if they're aiming to try to get your money that way, then it would probably behoove them to put the LiDAR in all of the new premium level phones that are coming out. Yeah. Who knows? Put it this way. It's pretty safe to say that if LiDAR will make them more money in the end, they'll put it in there. Absolutely. I mean, like, Apple's not shy about making money. No, no. They're they're quite fond of it. Yeah, I was going to say, like, they may not be enthusiastic fans, but they seem like pretty big fans. How about this fact? Apple has enough cash to buy Disney. I know. Isn't that crazy? It is. I would kind of love to see those negotiations happen. Not that I'd like to see it actually happen, but I'd like to watch... Like Bob Iger and Tim Cook just sit there and be like, how many billion do you want? Yeah, but isn't Disney publicly traded? Couldn't they not ask and just buy them? At least it could buy a controlling stake in it. They could, I'm sure. I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know how it works. I don't make enough money to give a shit about stock trades. I can feel our Malta rank slipping as they see how dangerously unknowledgeable we are about business. Let's go. Let's move. So, iPhone 12... Looks better and better. One of the rumors that I heard that was originally talked about, then it went away, was that they were going to go to one of those light ring flashes. So, you know, the bump on uh, the camera bump was going to actually have a flash around the whole ring, which seems nuts to me. I don't think that it's necessary. Well, it's not true. It was it's been uh, it's been scrapped since. But that seems like a lot of flash. The flash on the phone now is seizure inducingly bright <laughs> like i can't imagine what the hell that ring would be like you'd be able to take x-rays with that fucking thing <laughs> if you're gonna do a ring of light it would make more sense on the front than it would on the back like around the screen almost yeah because the screen is much closer to your face so it's easier to get that even lighting with the circle having it go out it's gonna cause weird shadows and a whole bunch of different dumb shit I want them to improve the facial recognition on the front so that this way it works when my glasses are on. And when I go to the food store and I have to wear a, a mask over my face like I'm a fucking bandito. I have I have no problem <laughs> with it. Glasses on, glasses off. It's fine. It's when I'm wearing the mask, which is weird because it does work with my scarf. It's very confusing to me. You wear a scarf over your face? Like in the winter? Yes. And it works. And it worked. Yeah. Very interesting. But now I wear my little uh, little mask coming out looking like I'm about to rob places, like you said. Like a pulp action hero from the 20s. All I need is a slouch hat, and I'd be set. You don't have one? A slouch hat, no. I'm surprised. So am I, honestly. I think I could pull it off. And it would just be like, oh, he's not a douchebag hipster because that's not a fedora. That is a slouch hat. People would definitely make that distinction. I would think so, because the slouch hat is more of the, like... It's the dark wing duck hat. Yeah, but it doesn't... Yeah, I wouldn't think it looks like a fedora. No. Woo. So... How do we get does, on that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. How do we... Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah. Uh, uh, I actually think there's... Is there any more in the world of Apple? I'm trying to keep us from dipping into the... Into the negative. Have you seen the reviews on the uh, Magic Keyboard that I'm all excited about? I'm trying to avoid it because, like I said, my wife has the better Pro. Okay. And it's killing me. Would it help if I did not talk about it until I have it next week? Yeah. Give me a little more time to adjust. But Maybe Uncle Donnie will buy me one with his stimulus check. Yeah, I mean, you got a bunch of kids that you've got some cash for, so finally they're pulling their weight. Not the baby. Not worth. Still not worth it. Really? Ugh. I'm just kidding. Nah, she's all right. She's cute. No, no, no. I was saying, she, do you really not get money for the baby? Oh, yeah. No, I get money for the baby. Just not enough. All right. Not enough for her to be jumping all over my couch. Oh, you know what? I wanted to ask you. I don't. So we've gone back and forth with a couple of different shows. Mm hmm And we've, we've kind of been missing each other. But I think I found one that if you don't already watch it, I can say with absolute certainty that you'll like it 
All right. Amaze me. Let's see what you got. I'm going to give you one guess as to what it is. Well, let's see if you watch it. It is a Canadian show starring a father and son. Shit's Creek. Yes. Love it. Yo, how good is Shit's Creek? Shit's Creek is phenomenal. And the way that Catherine O'Hara says bebe. Oh my God. Obliterates me every time. Her voice on that show is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my entire life. It's amazing. I listen to it and I laugh just at her voice. She makes herself sound so ridiculous, but it just plays into that part where she's just like an eccentric lunatic. I love it. Yeah. And I mean, Catherine O'Hara is, of course, one of the funniest people on the planet. And then you throw in Eugene Levy. This is my favorite role that I've seen him. I love him. Mm. This is my favorite role of his. This is my second favorite role of his because he was also in Bride of Boogity, which was my first time I ever saw him. All right. It, listen, he was, I think he's probably most well known as Jim's dad in the American Pie series. And he's great in the first couple. He's probably great in all of them, but I could not stomach after the second one. But this is, he's just so, he's so good. It's not, but you know what? He's not my favorite part of the show. Is your favorite part Alexis? Because she's great. She is great. They're all great. David's my favorite part of the show. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That makes sense. I love how this show went from just being a dumb comedy that was brilliantly written to, by the time you get to fourth season, I think, uh, th that show will punch you in the heart, too. It's so good. I'm still in season two. Don't know what happens with Dan Levy's character, David. I don't know what happens with him as it goes. But you know what I found? I found so good. And I don't, I can't quite pinpoint why. So in real life, Dan Levy came out, I think back in like 2018, came out uh, that he was gay, which I, I think he never really denied, but didn't confirm either. Mm -hmm. Watching the show, you know that he's either actually gay or he's playing to or he's playing into it to make you think that he is and then the odd kind of friendship relationship that they that he has with stevie mm -hmm. is my favorite part of the whole first season their interactions are the best and their chemistry is incredible by the way you should uh i don't know if she's married or not but the actress that plays stevie you should give her a ring a ding ding i'll see what i could do just letting you know we'll tweet at her after this we will not, I promise. I don't need a restraining order. Thank you very much. I'm going to tweet at her and be like, hey, got a friend that would be perfect for you. Or for Stevie, I should say. Are you anything like her? Let me know. So that's good. I'm glad we've, I'm because it's been weeks. We've not been on the same page with our show choices. You're right. We haven't. But this one is just dynamite. I think just about everybody should love that show, except for like, Eight people. And they know who they are. I'm looking at you, Miss Irene Johnson of Sioux City, Iowa. Bitch. Oh, well. Yeah. I got to tell you, I think that that's it because nothing else in life is happening. No. I Well, let me not say that. Let me yeah. say nothing <laughs> else in life that I want to talk about <laughs> is happening. happening. Yeah. Because anything else that I've got on my mind has to do with protests. And so this should probably end up on the, the cutting room floor, if you will. It's an old industry term, folks. <laughs> Maybe read a book. Um, <laughs> so this was pointed out to me today, and I, I never noticed it. Mm. The same people that are doomsday prepping for the apocalypse are all of a sudden the ones that are protesting to get the fuck back outside. Yeah. Like, what, what's what's going on with that? Every, everybody who sits there thinking Al-Qaeda has flown to Florida to get to Brazil to w cross back over the border to get into America are the people like, no, the coronavirus is a hoax. I'm not talking about the folks that think it's a... Oh, maybe they also think it's a hoax. They're not mutually exclusive, but the ones that just don't want these rules. Yeah. We got to restart the economy so that everyone can, else can get coronavirus and die and therefore destroy the economy. You bunch of jackasses. Just do us all... This part, I can assure you, will end up on the cutting room floor. Just...
That was dark. That, like, skews your whole fucking aura. <laughs> like, <laughs> that really... I'm surprised I didn't see lightning bolts flash in the background. Yeah.